Hello explorers and welcome to another video. Today we're going to talk about VM control. And I have had this problem and I have recorded a bunch of different videos where I just needed to re-record them. And the latest one was the Vitesse video. It was quite long. I spent hours recording that. I think I recorded it four times. Different issues every time. There were missing audio, there were uh, misaligned speaking, and there was a bunch of different things that were wrong with those videos. And one of them were the placement of my windows. Because what I'm doing at the moment is I'm doing live recording of everything I do in the console. And when that console is misaligned, some of the content is not shown on screen. And that is not acceptable for recording. So if we switch over to my screen here, I can use a keyboard command in order to do that. Then you see that I have a console here. It is placed correctly within the screen. But I could take this console and I could put it full screen and you see that you're missing a lot of the actual content and I can also change this of course to make it a lot smaller just over here but by just using one keyboard command I can have it perfect again exactly as I would like it for recording the strange part is that this is one setup another one is this one and this one is for every other screen that is not <laughs> a terminal window because the values that you need in order to get the right size is a little bit different for a terminal window. So if I take another window here and use the terminal, it becomes a bit too large. But if I use the screen um, co coordinates again, it becomes the right size, which is very strange. Um, the VM control if we switch over to the console again, uh, is a command that will auto move screen, move the current, because that is what I have only gotten working so far, the current window to a particular position and size. And I can also say which desktop to put it on. A desktop is, at least in Ubuntu what I'm running now, Something that you can have uh, multiple of, I think at least 10 of them. So you just switch between the different desktops, but during my uh, recording I usually use one desktop. I think it's desktop 3 I'm recording at uh, the moment. Then I have one desktop where all the current work is done. And then I have one desktop where I have uh, other gaming related things or whatever I'm currently doing with my computer. So that is one command. Uh, selecting the current screen is not done using the um, screen identifier. You just give the coordinates more. So I'm I having three screens here, for instance, and I can say that I want it to be coordinates that are larger than the first screen, then it will end up on the second screen and so on. So it's dependent on how large your workspace area is. And to look at this command, it's very simple. You have VM control. It's part of the package manager. So you just do apt install VM control and you get it. And then you have this dash R, which is the window you want to work with. I'm not sure why it's called R. And uh, colon active colon is the current active window. Then you could have a dash D if you want to put it on a particular desktop, for instance. And then you have E for the resolution. And the first uh, value here is not really super important. I think it's something like the depth or something like that. I put it to zero, so it will be centered and above everything else. But if you are doing this as a setup to move all your screens to the cor correct position, I think it's much more important to use that one. And then you have the first value, which is just the X value, the Y value. I'm not really sure why I need to do minus 100. If I just do zero here, it will actually end up a bit down. It will not be at the top. I think the 100 pixels are because I have this uh, header row on 
one of the desktop screens and of course a zero would be below that header but because the header is not available on this screen I need to remove that extra distance there and then you have the width of the screen and the uh, height of the actual box here and we see that we don't really go down to the bottom so let's try with 70 and now we fill up the full screen so that is a way to get a uh, a particular window absolutely positioned on your screen using VM control and I've just scratched the surface as you see here there is a bunch of different things you can do with VM control uh, so currently I just used R for the win you could do T to move a window to a particular desktop okay so it wasn't D it was T to move to a particular desktop I'm not sure why they are using characters that doesn't really make sh um, sense. You can also do S to switch to a particular desktop. You can activate a particular window by switching to its desktop and raising it. And closing a window gracefully. You can move a window to the current desktop and activate it with a large R. So there is a bunch of things. And um, one thing that I thought was if I do VM control L, so I get all the current open window, I thought that I could use one of these uh, IDs here in order to move it around. Uh, but I tried that and I haven't gotten that to work. So if we have this ID here, for instance, and I want to move it, let's say I do thousand. It doesn't do anything to this window. Um, so if you figure out what, how to use the ID here um, or to say a particular window that you want to change then please leave a comment in the comment section down below I would love to say okay the ID of this would should be this or um, if I could e even find in this particular window that I always open I want to move it to this particular position because I always want that window to be there that would be awesome as well so I could do some kind of startup script for uh, my desktop manager but for now this is perfect for my recording so I can actually have the windows in the correct position while I record so I don't need to record a vi video four times because I do some really bad mistake while recording and for instance record the whole video with just this face cam and don't show what I actually talk about that would be crazy right I hope that you found this video interesting I hope that you learned something today if you like this video give it a like share it with your friends and colleagues if you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. If you have any comments or suggestions, leave those in the comment section down below. And I really hope to see you in the next video.